Fuzzy Bird, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the hidden treasure of Area Zero, part two, the Indigo Disc. In the last episode, we went to Area Zero's under depths and of course caught Terrapagos. So much exciting stuff happened last episode. It is probably the most musty episode of the entire DLC, so be sure you check that out. But now that we're in the post game, it seems as though there is something Miss Briar wants to talk to us about. If we go over here, we can see it, Uh, maybe. Uh, right here, a chat with Miss Briar. Go to Classroom 1 for it and find out what Miss Briar has to tell you. So yeah, I'm really excited and curious to see what this might be, so let's go find out. All right, so that will be, oh, there's a couple of things here that need our attention, but let's start with Miss Briar since that's like the main quest thing. So we'll go talk to Miss Briar in Classroom 1 4 and see what all the, all the chatter is about, right? Hi. Hey, Zebra, glad to see you. You feeling rested and recovered after our big adventure down in the under depths? Uh, mostly, yeah. Oh, youth really is an env enviable thing. I'm still feeling all wrung out despite having been back for a while now. But on to why I called you here. Since our return, I've been writing up everything we discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I've hardly slept. I obtained Gita's permission to turn it all into a book. But don't worry, I've made sure to skip a few details and omit the names of those involved. So voila, a proof copy of the book, freshly delivered from my publisher just for you. Whoa, you obtained a copy of Briar's book. We put it in our bag's key items pocket. Briar's book, a proof co copy of the exploration notes covering the Area Zero under depths. It's filled with long paragraphs describing what happened, along with Briar's thoughts. I behaved recklessly in the under depths. I don't know what we would have done if it weren't for you. You truly deserve a copy of this book. I just hope it's sufficient as an apology. Ah, but there was something else I need to check with you. Would you mind showing me your Terra Orb, Zebra? Uh, sure, here it is. Hmm, I thought as much. It's behaving just like Kieran's and Carmine's orbs. I think it might be because your orbs were directly exposed to the energy from Terrapagos. Kieran and Carmine say that ever since the Under Depths, they've been able to terrestrialize our Pokemon without charging their Terra Orbs. Whoa! Actually, there's one more piece of news I should share with you related to these deepest depths. You know the Terrarium Core that hangs from the ceiling of the Terrarium? Well, until now, I'd been keeping it topped up with a mixture of Paladean soil and water from the Crystal Pool in Kitakami. That's how we've been able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon on our academy grounds. But the other day, I tried adding crystals I'd collected from the under depths that, to that mix, and it caused the properties of the core to change. The result, Pokemon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium, and they have the stellar Terra type. Thanks to this, my research into the terrestrial phenomenon is shining brighter than ever. Wow, effects of the stellar Terra type. Stellar type terrestrialization grants a boost to moves, but only once per move type. After you use a move, no other moves of that same type will get the boost. In terror raid battles, all moves will be boosted without limit. Whoa, so cool. Oh, and there was one last thing. A man in a blue suit was looking for you over by the entrance to the academy. Blue suit? That's all I have to report for now. Thanks for setting aside some time to chat. I'm off to pay a visit to my publisher, so I'll leave you to it. Next time we meet, I'll ask you for a good long look at Terrapagus. Till then. All right. So, Blue Suit, wouldn't that be Director Cyrano? And if that's the case, wouldn't Miss Briar know who it is? I'm a little bit confused, but I guess we'll find out eventually. For right now, was that at the entrance they were saying? I'm not sure. It was of Classroom 3 2, um, Carmine's classroom, where Miss Briar teaches. It looks like a. Uh, Ameris wants our attention? We'll just sort of go throughout the school and see just who might want to chat with us. Oh, here you are. Zebra. Zebra. You have my thanks for all you have done to help the League Club and to help Kieran. Once you became champion, Kieran withdrew himself entirely from our ranking system. Though I consider this somewhat sad, it is not as if he can no and I can no longer meet. More than anything, I am glad he seems to be acting like his former self once more. Indeed, I have been swept up in joy to such an extent that I prepared a tremendous amount of the flight-enabling supplement used in my trial. Oh, really? 
please feed your Agias an appropriate portion of it whenever you wish to fly. That sounds super useful. All right, Maraidon. How is it? What? You want to fly right now? Please slow down. The supplement was never meant to be eaten in such large... Uh-oh. Whoa! Uh, Maraidon will be able to fly now! Whoa! Just permanently? It would seem your Agus has powered up somehow. From the looks of it, I would guess it has gained the power to fly whenever you wish to. Well, I suppose this is an acceptable outcome. As it happens, there is a super hard course for my flying time trial. You may attempt it upon clearing the hard course. Feel free to do so when you are ready. How to fly. Maridon can now freely fly through the air if you press the left stick while gliding. Maridon will keep moving forward automatically while it's flying. If you press the left stick again, it will go back to gliding. That's so cool. Time for me to go. So long then. Interesting. So I guess there's different courses we can do. I don't know if we get anything out of that, but that was really neat. So we'll head out on this side and see, we got the league cl club room right now, which is where Director Sierno wants to talk to us. All right, so where is he? I guess he doesn't really have a blue suit. I mean, it's a suit with blue on it, but it's not a suit that's entirely blue. There you are, Zebra. Just the person I was looking for. I heard the news. You're the new BB League champion, am I right? I'll admit it, I'm blown away. Inviting you to this academy was the best decision I've made recently. So, now that you've had some time to get comfortable here, how do you find Blueberry Academy? Are you having fun? Uh, I love it here. It's pretty cool, honestly. Good, good, just what I like to hear. Anyway, there's a small favor I'd like to ask of you, Zebra. You see, the whole academy's become so much more lively and energetic since you came here. And that got me thinking. Maybe we should have even more people visit from Paldea. Have them come as special coaches or something. Oh, really? You know a lot of people, right? You've got lots of friends and everything. I mean, like teachers from your school, gym leaders, that sort of thing. Oh, and any strong friends of yours are also welcome here. Leave it to me. So I guess we can invite people to the Blueberry Academy? Spoken like a true champion. I knew you were the right person to ask. So how do we go about doing that? You can use the club room computer to contact anyone you want to invite. Oh, but it'll cost BP. We won't need to pay for their trip and such. Here's something to get you started. Oh, really? Whoa, how much are you gonna give me? Receive 200 BP from Director Sierra now, which considering the price of some of the things on there, that's actually not that much. I think I'll arrange for the special coaches to stay in this club room when they're not teaching. You should have a chat with them while they're here. Now then, I'll leave it to you. Enjoy. Interesting. There's a lot going on right now. So there's gonna be different coaches in the league room? Inviting special coaches. Using the PC in the league club room, you can invite your friends and acquaintances from the Paldea region to visit Blueberry Academy as special coaches who you can talk to and battle with. You can have a max of two visitors at a time. Okay. I don't know if we get anything for doing that, but I guess good to know, and hey, it's you two. How do you define cuteness? Gracious, that's a difficult question to answer. I assumed you would have a clear grasp of the concept since you use the term so frequently. Oh, that simply wells up within me. From the bottom of my heart, I can't hold it in, but I can't say it's something I've thought hard about. It's more like a natural response. Then let us attempt to define cuteness here and now. How about pink? Is that cute? Yes, pink is definitely cute. And smallness, is that cute? That's right, small things are quite often cute. But big things can be cute too. I don't think you can simply define cuteness as being small. Cuteness is complex, I see. Hello, Zebra. I believe this marks our first interaction in this club room. I hope your Agus hasn't suffered any after effects from the other day. Uh, no, it's doing great. That is a relief. Seeing it consume such a quantity of that supplement caused me some concern. Perhaps Agus's stud sturdy constitution has shielded it from any ill facts. 
I suspect it would be dangerous to let any other Pokemon eat as much of the supplement. Since I usually ride my Skarmory for the flying time trial, I have not had the opportunity to test such matters myself. I have nothing else to report. Let's conclude this conversation. Okay, cool. And then we also have a uh, few over here. Drayton, yo champ. Gotta thank you again for conquering the BB League. All the tension here melted right away once we got our new champion. If I had my Dracer Druthers, Kieran and I'd be having fun battling again. I thought we'd have pat patched things up by now, but I guess things ain't that simple. It'll work out. You know just what to say, huh? Good quality in our any champion. Guess I ended up kinda using you to try to get what I wanted, huh, bud? I guess. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to. I dropped the slacker life for once and I just got carried away. Anyway, hope you'll accept my apology. No attitude, just gratitude. Of course. All right, so let's head out of here then. We have a whole world worth of exploring, but I really don't know who this blue suit person that Miss Briar mentioned, but maybe at the entrance? We'll, we'll see if there's anybody around. But after that, I figure we'll explore around a little bit. We obviously have BP to earn to invite people. Uh, oh, you? Snacksworth here? Who are you? Oh, ho, ho. would you look at the cut of your jib? You must be the one everyone's talking about. You're the Paldean Exchange student, Zebra. Or my name's not Snacksworth. Yes, indeed, call me Snacksworth. I do love to see the young students putting some real effort into their self-improvement, especially the kids who really give all their all for the old BBQs. I reward them with snacks. These snacks I make are very special treats, made just to the tastes of certain Pokemon. With one of my snacks in hand, you may find yourself running into quite spectacular Pokemon. Some come give old snack worth, so come give all old snack worth the latest whenever you've been hard at work on those BBQs. All right, well, I've been hard at work on them. Now, let's see if you've been chipping away at those BBQs or not, Zebra. Heavens to Betsy, you've gone and completed 10 solo quests. I'd say you earned yourself one of my special snacks, Zebra. You obtained the Latias Tree. Huh. Latias Tree, a snack made from ingredients favored by the legendary Pokemon Latias. That there's a Latias tree. You know Latias? Frightfully rare, that one. Not your run of the mill Pokemon. Speaking of Latias, I do recall this one particular one particular encounter when I was a young feller. I was off enjoying a spot of backstroke in the sea to the south of Paldea at the time. I'd been going on for a good while, so I'd come to feel a bit tuckered out in and in need of a rest came ashore to rest the, on the sand in the shadow of some cliffs. When, you won't even believe it, there's Latias, just right there before me. Our eyes met, and it gave me a jolly little smile. Then it flew off again out of sight. It loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot of meeting it too. If you run into Latias, you be sure to give it my best. How do I do that? Do I just eat the snack and then, or just have the snack out, and Latias will show up? Now let's see if you've been chipping away at those BBQs or not, Zebra. Heavens to Betsy, you've gone and completed 20 solo quests. I'd say you've earned yourself one of my special snacks, Zebra. This time we got the Zapdos Tree, whoa. Zapdos Tree, a snack made from ingredients favored by the legendary Pokemon Zapdos. That there's a Zapdos Tree. You know Zapdos, frightfully rare that one. Now you're one of the mill Pokemon. Speaking of Zapdos, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger feller. I'd climbed right up to the tippy top of one of those lighthouses you got in Paldea, and I was taking in the view, looking over to Stint City, when, would you believe it, the heavens broke wide open and rain started pouring down on me. I thought I'd better get out of that mess in a hurry, so I turned to head down again. Then the whole sky lit up like a huge crash of lightning, and Zapdos came flying out of nowhere. It blew right by me, quick as a flash. It loves that snack you have there, so you might just have the, a shot at meeting it too. You run into old Zapdos, you be sure to give it my best. So what I'm gathering from these is that we have to use these snacks in the locations that he is describing back in Paldea. So I probably won't get to doing this today, but it's definitely good to get as many of the snacks as we can right now. Now let's see if you've been chipping away at those BBQs or not, Zebra. It looks like 30 solo quests. Let's see, another special snack. This time it is the Articuno Treat. So we're getting all the legendary birds from Gen 1 now. Articuno Treat, of course, is a, a snack with ingredients favored by Articuno. All right, so he's saying all the same things before, but 
See, I had found this lovely pond up in the snowy peaks of Haldea, and I decided to go for a dip, hankering for a bit of cold water swimming. When, would you believe it, Articuno comes swooping down along the nearby waterfall and starts flying out ab about above me, singing away. I was tickled pink I was, went on merrily singing with Articuno even as the sun set and the moon rose. Before I knew it, it was morning again. He loves that snack you had there, so you might just have a shot of meeting it too. If you're running to old Articuno, you'd be sure to give him my best. Will do, how many of these quests did we do? Um, 40 solo quests now? Let's see, I'm guessing we'll get the, oh, the, whoa, the Lunala, Lunala treat. Interesting, I don't even know what Lunala is. Interesting. Rightfully rare, of course. I was on a fine sandy beach in Paldea, gazing out at the sun as it set into the sea. Looking at the sun really reminds you just how small you are as one person, you know? I was getting all sentimental as I watched this, the light slipping away. It hadn't yet disappeared when suddenly this great crescent moon bloomed before my eyes. It was only there for an instant, so it was hard to get a good look. I think that's the one from Sun and Moon. Yeah, okay. Uh, but I'm sure that silhouette belonged to Lunala, or my name's not Snacksworth. It loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it too. All right. I don't know how many more quests we've done. We'll keep doing this until we got them all, though. Um, 50 solo quests. Okay, what about this one? Kabalion. I don't know Kabalion. Valiant Tree, of course, all the, rare, the the same stuff as before. Rare Pokemon. I was on one of my adventures in Paldea when Kabalion just pranced on down a cliff. I was real flummoxed at first when it stopped right before me. Maybe it was just pausing to stare because my face looked so funny? Anyway, that old Kabalion started to stroll away, so I followed and it led me to a famed waterfall. I tried to say thanks, but old Kabalion just dashed off into the bamboo grows. Cool as you please. It loves that snack you have there, so you might have a shot at meeting it too. All right. Have we done 60? Let's see. Yes, we have, we've been busy. We have been so busy. So let's see this one then. This one is the Cub Foo Treat. All right, that'd be great, Cub Foo. That is of course something we ran into um, in Sword and Shield. Speaking of Cub Foo, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a young feller. I was adventuring off in Paldea when I saw Cub Foo training. I ambled right up to it and asked, oh, ho, ho, hard at work training, are you? Why, the two of us got on like a house on fire. We trained together for a time, till Kafu trained to be itching, or seemed to be itching to move on. But it left me a gift. It plucked up all the bamboo sprouts that grew nearby, just for me. It loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot of eating it too. Okay, but how we done 70? I don't think so, I feel like that might be, no, we've gotten 70 done. All right, we're getting all sorts of these right now. Obtained the Kyogre treat, treat. Okay, cool. We're getting all sorts of treats to meet some very rare Pokemon. Speaking of Kyogre, I do recall this one particular encounter. I was on another one of my adventures around Paldea when I spotted these odd rocks in the sea. I thought to myself, now, Snacksworth, those have gotta be the famous rocks said to bring riches. So I figured I might as well squeeze my eyes shut real tight and make a wish on them. After a few seconds, I opened my eyes, and what should appear in front of those rocks but Kyogre. Just big and blue and brazen as you please, now that was a shocking day, make no mistake. It loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it too. All right, Kyogre, very cool. Now let's see if you've been chipping away into those BBQs. Yep, 80 solo, because have we done 100 of them already? Like, I don't know, maybe. Uh, guess we'll see. So the Lugia tree, whoa. So let's see what he's gonna say about Lugia. Probably, you know, very similar things, but I was paddling in the sea off Paladea, enjoying a leisurely backstroke through the crystals, those crystal waters. But it was a real frigid stretch of sea, you understand. It didn't take long in that water before I'd started to lose all the warmth in my body. I was shaking like a leaf by the time I found an island and crawled ashore. What should appear before me but a great whirlpool heaving in the sea, and whoosh, out of it comes Lugia itself. I was knocked flat on my backside in the shock of it all, so delighted I forgot I was even cold. It loves that snack you had there. All right, so Lugia is our next one. Do we happen to have 90? 
Let's see. If we do 90 solo quests, how many of these legendary Pokemon has this guy seen? Moltres, here we go, here's the third legendary bird. Very cool. All right, so let's see your story about Moltres. I was off doing a spot of rock climbing over in the western Paldea at the time. The weather was sure something else that day. Sandstorms were kicking up the whole desert. My mouth was as sandy as the ground. I was about ready to call it quits when Moltres appeared in a blaze of glory. So bright you could see it through the blowing sands. I don't know if it meant to cheer me on, but it certainly did, and I completed my climb that day. It loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it too. If you run into old Moltres, you be sure to give him my best. Have we hit 100? Here's the big question. Ah, oh, no. It looks like it's a bit early for you to be getting any of my special snacks. I reckon you could earn one of my special snacks if you did five more quests on your own, or maybe one more group quest. All right, you know about group quests, right? They'll start appearing once you tackle a whole heap of BBQs with your pals using the Union Circle. Or are you just here because you like to hear my old tales about rare and wondrous Pokemon? Yeah. All right then, what Pokemon would you like to hear me yammer on about? Show me their snack. Okay, so I guess if we wanted to get clarification on one of these, we could. I'm good for now, though. You sure want to mosey on without hearing one of my tales? No need to be shy. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get a ton more of those quests done so that we can get more of those legendary Pokemon. I figure that's what we'll focus on from here on out then, at least for today, is getting Pokemon caught, because we're trying to get 200 of the Blueberry Academy Pokedex finished get a lot of BBQs done so we can get these legendary Pokemon snacks and also spend the BB League points on different upgrades. I mean, right now I'm trying to save up the 3,000 specifically so I can get you know more of a diverse range of Pokemon in each area. That would be really cool. But I figure we'll run around Savannah Plaza. We'll just try to go to the different areas, get this stuff done so that we can make more progress in the game. So for our first quest here in the biome, as you can see, we don't have a ton. But uh, auto battle should be a pretty easy one. And I haven't really seen any dark Pokemon for a while, where did you go? Uh, but all of our Pokemon are now level 100, so I don't have to worry about like, really getting experience with them or anything like that. So we're mostly just all in on getting these quests done. Worry about everything else later, right? So yeah, you can uh, defeat them if you want to, Palmon. How about over here? There we go, that should be some easy Pokemon to defeat. Cause we only needed to do a couple of them. So yeah, one more should do the trick. There we go, complete. Successfully sneak up one Pokemon, surprise it in battle. That's our next thing, and I think I might wanna go for this Vibraba, just like that, and then we can just turn around and run away. But doing this super fast, you know, it's pretty easy for me to do. Vibraba is definitely not gonna be a dark type. Uh, so we'll just run away, just like that, and see what our next quest is. And I just wanna do that over and over again, pick up items on the ground 10 times. I will. Oh no, I did not see you, sorry. <laughs> All right, well, we're right away from this one. I wonder if catching a Pokemon in a um, Terrastal or a Terra Raid is going to do anything. But speaking of Terrastal, we should be able to find Pokemon of the Stella, Stellar Terra type somewhere. I sure hope. At least that's what the game told us before. So we'll have to look around for that, definitely. We got a new item there, I didn't see what it was though. And we do have a Terra Raid here. This is a Dragon type one. Whoa, Modest Mint. Interesting. We're really seeing a lot of the same Pokemon around here now. Like it doesn't feel like we're getting a huge variety anymore, but I guess this is where we can maybe pull the map and just sort of see what it's suggesting. Like maybe the evolution of Vibrava is still something I think we need to catch, but beyond that, we're not finding too much here that's like a must find, but there we go. Successfully, successfully sneak up on one Pokemon in battle. Uh, not you, but you, you're definitely going the other way. So that should be that quest done again, super duper fast. Like we're sacking them up and that's good because I need to do probably more than just this, you know, getting to 100. I don't know how many legendary Pokemon that one guy's gonna have, but pick up items in the ground 10 times. We just did that. Let's see, is this a new Pokemon? No, we've already gotten Scrafty. So we'll head out of this area and hopefully into one where we can actually find some Pokemon we haven't really gotten to get just yet, but. Might take some time for sure, but at least I can pick up items while we're traveling, and I'm sure we'll find something. We'll get some more quick balls, that's always good. I know there's a lot of trainers around here that we could also fight, but it's one of those things where it's like, I don't really need the experience now. I mean, I could get the extra money, but is that really worth worrying too much about? Okay, let's see what Pokemon, it's still like the same. It's not weird, usually there's a larger variety, but uh, 
pick up some of that. Citrus Berry. Really is like a lot of similar Pokemon, which really makes some of the quests difficult, which is unfortunate because I'm trying to get these quests done so I can get more Pokemon around. Okay, so what's the new quest? I don't I don't think I saw it. Defeat 10 Pokemon in a auto battle, so we got Venomoth over here. Okay. Well, lots more Pokemon over in this direction. Execute. So we got sort of some new Pokemon here. But once again, nothing I really need, because we already have Dodrio. We got that from a Terror Raid. Take on Venomoth. And execute. Whoa. I mean, you're a dark type, right? Way up there? Oh yeah, well maybe we should fly up there then. Whoa, I forgot we could do this now, this is so cool. Okay, you should be a dark type Pokemon. Maybe I should get actually the Volibee though. I'm pretty sure, flying dark. We're gonna find out. Uh, if I can get up there. Maybe I should just wait for the, the mama to come back down. Here, I will get off of you for now, because it just didn't seem to help me too much. It's a little bit difficult to climb up this thing, but we did it before. I don't know if it's gonna let me actually. Okay, that's sort of unfortunate. I can't get you, and your mom is flying around way over here. Oh, here, got it. If I can just get a quick and easy catch on you, that might be that one big mission that we've been trying to get done for a while now, just out of the way. So not a master ball. I need to save that for more important situations. Let's throw out a quick ball. Ah, oh, are you serious? They're gonna break free of that straight away. I'm using Nasty Ply. And I could try another Quick Ball here, but the chances of that are really low. Come on, come on. It's usually not worth doing after the second throw, though. Yeah, okay, they're not gonna have that at all. So, it's not very effective. Let's go ahead and I guess just try a Nuzzle. I'm a little bit worried about the, whoa. Uh, the damage difference being too much, but it's okay. It looks like it's fine. This is definitely a good chance to throw an Ultra Ball then, because Amanda Buzz may be unable to move. We need to use Defog. I don't know what that really does for us. It lowers our base, and it's not a big deal, because we're just gonna be throwing Ultra Balls over and over now. Like this. Okay, let's see. Ooh, we get the critical throw! There we go! So hopefully that is a Legend, not a Legend, a Dark-type Pokemon caught, because I'm pretty sure that Pokemon's Dark-type. It is awesome. So, got that one out of the way. That's been a long time coming. And battle a wild Terra Pokemon. I think there's one off in the distance. I do have a Dodrio caught, like I said before. Um, I'll grab this TM, Muddy Water. Pretty fitting. That's a Terra Raid, which is different than a Terra Battle. But I think there might be one over here. You can tell by the different kind of sparkliness to it. Um, I still need to defeat Tenron Pokemon in battle. So while I'm crossing Pokemon, I need to just in the I wonder if it's gonna be the Tauros again. Probably. Okay. But you over here, maybe. They're all running away from me right now. They are all running away from me. I'm so sorry you guys are all terrified of me. Uh, what about you? Or not. Okay. Uh, that's not very going very well for Palma, but I guess we still get it. Okay, it's you. Which we have fought you before. We're gonna fight you again. Oh, we completed one of them. I don't know which one we did. I'm guessing just to, you know all the auto battling. But let's battle you. I don't think we even need to win. I think we already got the mission done technically. Uh, we could try to run away and see for ourselves. I know that's like the less exciting thing to do, but I'm really go trying to go for like speed and efficiency today. So if we can. Just see for ourselves. Um, yeah, that counts. Awesome. But you over here have been eluding me this entire DLC adventure. Every time I try to get you, you jump out of that quick ball like it's nothing. Not today. It's not gonna happen. We're gonna throw that quick ball right over here. Okay. The Taurus still wants to fight. Taurus, you gotta wait. All right, throw the quick ball. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yes! All right, finally getting Flygon. That was a lot of work. I think the evolution of Vibrava, we're about to find out here. Number 46, Flygon, the mystic Pokemon, is a ground dragon type. The sound of its wings flapping resembles singing. Those entranced by this sound get lured into a sandstorm and become Flygon's prey. Crazy Pokemon, definitely a super strong one. Um, we'll put you away in a box, but that is the evolution of Vibrava. Oh no, 
This guy. Oh no, this is a normal Taurus. You really wanna fight? I'm gonna say, leave it for later. We already got a Taurus caught. I don't need to worry about it. Unless I wanna do auto battle against you, like this. There you go. And then, no, come on, I'm moving. It just won't move fast enough. I don't wanna do this. This is gonna take forever. The whole animation has to play. All right, so I'm finally out of that. We got coaching. These are properly coaches to tally Pokemon. That's cute. All right, so I think we're still trying to do more of these auto battles. And travel 500 meters. That one's always one of the easiest because you just travel in a straight line like this and you get it done, no problem. Are you serious? <laughs> I feel like the game lags out when it's raining like this and it just makes all the inputs I give the game super delayed. Like I'll, I'll say like jump, move, throw the Pokeball, whatever, and the game just takes a minute to actually do them. And so I run into the Pokemon like that. Okay, over here, we'll throw this out. And this is a dark type terror raid, right? Yeah. All right, so take a photo of a wild Pokemon that's swimming. We can't do that here, but maybe in that body of water over that way. Um, we already have Vileplume, not too interested. So let's see, are there any Pokemon? Whoa, hey! Oh, that's Rapska. We've seen Rapska. We haven't seen Rapska in a while, though. We got Crocodile. Seeing some sort of new stuff, which is always exciting. Here we go. Ready? Jupiter. <laughs> so cute. All right, Jupiter done. Sync up on one Pokemon and surprise them. I, it looks like you're gonna be pretty busy here. I might be able to, nah, you keep turning around. Feller, they're all looking at me. They already have Braviary, yeah. What about you? For Ridge Raph. Oh, I don't think that counted. Unfortunate. So we'll have to try a different Pokemon. We already have this one caught, so I'm not super inter interested in, you know, battling it. But, I'll find one that's not paying attention. We'll definitely get it. And what about our other quest? Um, catch one Pokemon. Just, okay, fine. Do you want it to be you? <laughs> Tauros are very like, angry all the time. Always trying to get to me. Quick ball, throw. Come on, make this easy for me. So I can get out of here. Yes, critical throw. Awesome. Don't even need it, but I might as well. To just get another quest done. I mean, it's only been like 10 minutes or so, and we've gotten like a good dozen or so quests completed, so that's fantastic. I'm gonna say no to all this. What's your next quest? Pick up items in the ground 10 times. You know, it does, I think, count items in the water. So that's nice. Maybe we should make our way out of the savannah biome for now, as much as I love it. But there might be more stuff for us somewhere else. Oh, there's the Zeb Striker. All right, we've gotten the Blitzel. Have we gotten Zeb Striker? We have, and here's our chance. Ooh, here we go. I don't know if that counted as like a surprise from behind, but you were so cool. Awesome. Definitely want to catch you. Just like this. Quick ball. Ooh. No critical throw. You might prove to be difficult then. No, we got the catch. That's amazing. All right. So, number 24, Zeb Striker. The Thunderbolt Pokemon is an electric type. Once the herd hears thunder, it chases after the storm cloud so that the Blitzel in the group can use the lightning to charge up. A herd working together. That's what I love to see. All right, Zeb Striker added to our boxes. Boom, right there. So, what else do we got going on around here? Make myself a TM, pick up items in the ground 10 times. I still have to surprise a Pokemon in battle on this Relor. Might be our best bet. Does that count? I don't think so. Like there's an exclamation mark, but I don't think that actually means sneak up. They need to be like fully behind us, or I guess fully facing their back towards us. Which can be difficult sometimes. It's Pokemon, you know? They're out in the wild, they're yeah, they're very aware. That's right, like I, I fully, oh, I dropped the controller. I fully pressed the button as they were facing away from me, but this is not enough sometimes. All right, well, I do see this cave over here. I might wanna like hop off of Maridon because I'm having a suddenly hard time sneaking up on a Pokemon. That should count. It did like the cool explosion effect when the Pokeball actually reached Zeb Striker. That's what we wanna see. So I'm gonna run now. Sorry, just wanted to get my mission. Um, and take a photo of a wild Pokemon in flight. So we're not gonna find that with Zeb Striker, but that was our 10th item. So we need to sneak up on another Pokemon, come on. I just did that. Here's a sand dial, which is so adorable, but definitely gonna see me. So I don't see any Pokemon flying around here for the moment, but I do not wanna mess with the Tauros anymore. I'm so sick of them. You weren't even there. Get me out of here. 
<laughs> the, the Pokemon here are being ridiculous. All right, run away. We'll go somewhere else. All right, go, go, go. You know, jump, here we go, and then fly. Can we take a picture of ourselves in flight? Does that count? I don't think so. Okay, we're at the coastal biome now. Things can be different here, for sure. Maybe I'll just sort of settle up on this mountaintop. We've been around here before, so I'm trying to imagine you know, what flying Pokemon can we find in this area. Let's get up this way. I feel like sometimes being higher up like this just makes it easier to find those flying Pokemon. I mean, like, here's two cannon, not currently flying, but I'll get off of Raiden for now and just see if any of these guys are interested in taking flight. Two cannons thinking about it, but it is not yet to take to the skies. Who can we maybe sneak up on? Usually this is an easier mission than it currently is, but I don't know, the game just wants to give me a hard time lately. I feel like everybody keeps turning at me the moment I turn at them. There we go. See, that's all I was looking for. That should be the mission done. Awesome. So you fly a little bit when we actually start fighting you, but when not, you just go back to the ground. Let's see if you will. Just stay flying. Okay, wait, wait. Perfect, there it is. Awesome, so we just had to excite you a little bit, pick up items and ground 10 times. So we're getting some really easy ones over and over again now. I'll grab this TM, and we'll continue searching for more Pokemon. And if I take a look at the map, I don't know if I can do that while I'm flying, I guess not. Here, I'll go down here. Sometimes on the map you can see like what types of Pokemon can show up. And like all these Pokemon, we've caught them before, so I'm not really too crazy excited for it. Sometimes you'll find these where it's like a higher chance for them to spawn in. If I take a look around for that. I mean, there's a Crabominable down there. That might be worth going for. I don't think we have Crabominable. We definitely have Dodrio. There's a mystery over there. I think we'll try Crabominable. Um, here, let's go to the Polar Plaza, see what we can find from there. So Crabominable, I think, is gonna be up in that little pocket, so we'll try to get it and see if it pops up. Oh, you, wait a minute, you. Do I have you? I don't think I do. No, it, not seal. Bear tick, I do have bear tick, never mind. All right, I'll send Palmod out, but. Whoa. So I don't think it'll be here, I think it'll be up more. You're like on the top of this ridge. You found a mouse outbreak of Corrolitable. Awesome. Which I have caught, never mind. So that didn't really help too much, but it could have. You never know until you remember that you have Corrolitable already caught. So this icicle spear. Maybe I should switch Pokemon. I don't know if I can handle that too well. Snubble, whoa. I don't have Snubble. Let's get Snubble. It's so cute. All right, well this should be a pretty simple catch then. Let's try to get Snubble with a Quake Ball. Because we're trying to get our Pokedex to 200 so we can bring it back to the photographer girl that I'm forgetting the name of. There you go. Awesome, Snubble was caught. Okay, so with that done, Number 151, Snubble, the fairy Pokemon, is a fairy type. It growls, its growls make its opponents uneasy. This laid back Pokemon tends to sleep half the day. <laughs> Interesting, so I'll go ahead and put that away in our boxes, just like that. And Granbull is, I guess, what it evolves into. Whoa, Obama Snow over here. We don't have you either. Let's go for it. Very cool, so somehow we, we snuck up on you even though you were right there. All right, so just another quick ball should hopefully do the trick. Back to back new Pokemon would actually be really exciting here. We get the critical throw, so it looks like all but guaranteed. There we go. All right, back to back we get the um, the Snubble and the Obama Snow. Obama Snow, number 160, the Frost Tree Pokemon, a grass ice type. They appear when the snow flowers bloom. When the petals fall, they retreat to places unknown again. Cool. So we'll put you away in our boxes. Excited to see that we got Snover. Well, what about you? Golork, we don't have. I was hoping you could maybe like turn around and we could try to catch you. Uh, but not Golet, we have Golet. We're looking for Golurk. Hold on. <laughs> got a little bit of like a parental garden, guardian situation here where they're just trying to protect. But like I won the Golurk, not the Golet. This is so weird. Everybody else is running away. Can I run away from this, please? Run. I need to like immediately jump. 
Oh, and there's one of the little sand slashes. But it's like the Alolan kind or whatever, so it's frozen. Here we go. Come on, you are who I want to grab. And we get something complete there. We caught the wild Pokemon off guard, so I guess maybe that's why. But, uh, quick ball, come on. Can we get a third new Pokemon up on this ledge? I sure hope so. We get the critical throw, so basically, yes. There we go. All right. So, no experience, of course, but we do claim victory, I guess. Golurk, number 124, the automaton Pokemon is a ground ghost type. Golurk were created by ancient people to protect both people and Pokemon. They run on a mysterious energy. Whoa. All right, so Golurk added to our Pokedex right there, and what else do we need to do? So it looks like for right now, we need to make ourselves a TM, catch one poison type Pokemon, pick up items in the ground, sometimes claim a raid in a Terra battle, but are there any other Pokemon? The Sandshrew. Let's go ahead and get the Sandshrew really fast. That should be another pretty quick and easy catch, I would hope, but it's awesome we found sort of like a good pocket where there's just a ton of Pokemon that I'd get to catch. But, you know, now we got them. Maybe. Ooh. Got it, okay, so yeah, what is that? Four new Pokemon right over here on this one ledge? Well, it wasn't the Obama snow, but everything else worked out. Very cool, very cool. So number 155, Sandshrew, the mouse Pokemon, is an ice seal type, the Alolan form, of course. An ancient tradition of Alolan festivals still carried on to this day is a competition to slide Sandshrew across ice as far as one can. All right, so that'll be sent to our boxes, and as you can see, Right there, we do need to, of course, still upgrade to Sand Slash soon enough, but we can claim some reward progress for our Pokedex, so maybe I should take that opportunity right now. Just right over here, boom, boom. So for 130, we get ourselves the Blueberry Pokedex, 130 volumes, uh, the Electrizer, what is that? I don't know, we get all these really interesting items and it doesn't tell us what they are, so I'll have to look into it later. What about you? We don't have you. Whoa, let's go for it now then. I think Drayton had one of these. One of the Elite Four did. It's Duraludon, or maybe the Evolution, or some variant of it, I don't know. It's one of those ones I just cannot pronounce. I like the crowd of Pokemon behind us just watching. Come on, can we get an easy catch? Yes, we can, yet another new one. This is huge. All right, so let's see what the Pokedex has to say about this entry, number 161, Duraludon, alloy Pokemon, a Steel Dragon type. Its metal body is durable, but prone to retaining heat. It vents this heat from the, the slits in its tail. Very cool. So does that have an evolution? That's what I'm really curious about. Boom. Yeah, the Archelodon. All right, very cool, very cool. So with all of that figured out, I mean, I don't think there's anything else over here that's new for us to catch. I'll take a good look around. Maybe we'll go up here. I mean, I welcome it. I, I hope that there is new things to catch, but I'm just a little doubtful. After a string of luck that good, I don't think we're gonna find anything that's new. But it shows that there's definitely little pockets of this map. Take a photo of a lot of Pokemon that is swimming. Okay, got a lot to do then. Um, I think that would be pretty easy to do in this direction. There should be like a big lake. Oh, there's the Snubble and the evolution of it that we've already caught. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything really new. So I'll run down this way. We got Cub Chew. Ooh, Quiet Mint, that's neat. We needed to take on a Terror Raid, right? So that might be something worth working on here. We got Porygon. We need to find Porygon Z, or Evolve a Porygon Z. Whoa, you are cute. That's a Dugong, which we already have a Dugong, so I'm not gonna worry about it, but the Raid over here, right? That should be what we focus on. So if I just fly over like this, no problem. I love being able to fly, it makes it so much more useful just to get around. No, it's actually another Archelod or Duralodon or something. All right, get back to flying then. I gotta be able to find either yeah, the body of water over here, there's a terror raid for sure. All right, we'll get there, we'll get there. I don't think we've really been to this section over here. Definitely has me interested, but uh, are there any Pokemon in the water? You bet there are, there's a whole bunch of them. They're all staring at me, that's sorta creepy. Uh, that counts, awesome. Sneak up on one Pokemon and surprise them in battle. That's not gonna happen with the Milstery, because they're staring right at me. I can't ride my ride on here, there we go. Uh, what, excuse me, this, this guy's been trying to get me the whole time, ever since he set eyes on me. Terrifying, I'm out. All right, got away safely. 
I would like to fly away now before they get me. Okay, that didn't work. It's okay, we can still move. And, oh, it's like a, what is that noise? They really want to get me. They're just like calling out to me and everything. Maybe now's a good time to heal our Pokemon. Might as well take the opportunity, right? There we go. But hopefully this is enough missions to get more of the legendary Pokemon snacks. If not anything else today, I wanna make sure I get all of those so that we can, you know, move on to doing that at some point. We'll get the breaking swipe. Very cool. Uh, hmm. More items on the ground. I need to find that terror wraith. It was over here. So I will just fly up there as soon as possible, just like this, and see if we can't take this one. It, it is a fighting type, so it might be a little tricky, but uh, I don't think we have this one. I think it's the evolution of Millstreet. So this would be a big deal. I need to make sure we have a good evolution, or I guess, Terra form for it then. All right, so I decided with Doxbun because of course fairy type is super strong against fighting, and I think we can just do a lot of play rough to do some damage here, but this is Alcreming, which I do not have. So this would be a pretty nice one to go for. We're gonna do play rough just like this. Let's see how much damage it does. It is like a five star battle, so it's gonna be pretty tough to get through this one. But I think we can find our way through it. Ow, that does hurt a little bit. So, Alcremi's gonna use Encore. Uh, will that make me attack again? Doc, Doc, I mean, that's the move I wanted to use this entire battle, so I'm not complaining. There we go, play rough again. And that's definitely doing some nice damage. Ooh, and of course we also have this uh, Starsly or whatever it is on the left. That's a flying type, which is also good against the fighting type. So really good typing advantage so far between all of our Pokemon. It seems like it's working out quite well for us. We already have you almost halfway down. So as soon as we can Terrastalize, we'll be in a really good position. We are taking some damage though, so that can be concerning. But time to Terrastalize, we'll play rough and hopefully just knock you out even farther. Time is definitely on our side with this one. Come on. Let's see what we can do. Doc Spun's ready for some action. All right, here we go. Ooh, not bad. Super effective, gets you more than halfway down. Oh no. We are taking some damage back though, which is not so good, but the shield is popping up. I think we can handle the shield. It's not too bad. We just gotta, you know, do what we can. This is where the battle gets a little bit slower, but we're pretty far ahead on time. So I'm happy with it overall. The poison is also taking away their health a little bit. There we go, that was good. So maybe one or two more attacks from the team should be able to clear up the shield, and the rest of it shouldn't be too bad after that. We might get knocked out once, but we have the time to get knocked out once without it being like, you know, a game over situation. Come on. That's not so good. Yeah, we're in the red now. Very scary, but let's just play rough one more time to break this shield. Come on. There it is. Almost there. Super effective. Psy shock though coming in. They always attack us. Oh, we're still holding on, I can't believe it. The acidic armor? Whoa, defense rose sharply. Come on, let's break the shield for real. Wait, wait, no, not charm. Play rough, right there. Using play rough again. Oh, the shield is broken. That's what we wanted to see. And then we're gonna get damaged here. So this is where we'll probably be knocked out for a few seconds, yeah. But once we're back up, I think we can just finish off all crummy, no problem. I would hope. I can't imagine, even with the timer here, yeah, like it, it does chop down the time and then forces you to wait five seconds, which is pretty silly when you think about it, but uh, I think even then, we're still at a good position just to finish this off. So, everybody's going. I'm gonna just play rough once more. Oh, come on, everybody. That's it, that was really good. Come on, one more time. This is it. Awesome, we have defeated El Kremi. The Dazzling Gleam coming out though, uh-oh. Wait, is there still a little bit of health left? Oh, there it goes, there it goes. I just wanted to get one last attack hit. So cute, I can't believe it. We'll be able to catch this Pokemon. So catch, I will use a normal Pokeball right over here, got it? And let's catch this Pokemon and finish up this five-star Terrorate. That'll be awesome. 
All right, so our brand new Pokemon is gonna be number 43, Alcremi. The cream Pokemon is a fairy type, the vanilla cream version. Alcremi that have been cherished produce exquisite cream. So trainers always raise them lovingly. <laughs> Interesting. So we're not gonna give you a nickname, but very happy to have that right next to the Millstery in the Pokedex. Look at the full list here that we got, it's beautiful. So our Pokedex has been updated, lots of really good things are going on there. Well, let's take a look at our missions. As you can see, we need to sneak up on one battle, make ourselves a TM, catch one poison type. I think I probably wanna go back to like the beach biome for the, not you, but you, you're definitely not looking at us, so that's super easy just to get that mission done. But I probably wanna go back to the, like the coastal biome it was. If I wanna get a poison type because of the Alolan Grimer. So we'll do that in just a moment. Just wanted to get that done. Items on the ground 10 times. We can do that literally anywhere. So back to the coastal biome for us. Right over here, I think is where we would find a lot of the Grimers. So let's try this area, see if we can't find one. Okay, not an Alolan Grimer, but a Seviper should also be poison type, right? So if we can get a quick catch on you, I'd be pretty happy about it. Let's see. Um, Gotta switch over to the quick ball again. Come on, come on. Not gonna be a critical throw, but maybe still, ah, oh, okay. You know what, if you're gonna jump out of it like that, then I might just wait and try again. So Viper's attack rows and defense rows, because I don't wanna, I mean, I guess I could try a Nuzzle really fast, just to see if we can get a catch on you. Ooh, okay, if we can do that one more time, that should get you low enough that a catch should be pretty easy to maintain, right? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But we've been doing pretty well getting quests done constantly. I think we'll be able to get a lot more of the stacks from the one person. There we go, that's exactly where I want you to be. Couldn't move because it was paralyzed, so this is our chance just to get a good catch on you. Um, So, right over here, Ultra Ball. And let's get that catch. Oh, it's a critical throw, so yeah, guaranteed, for sure. With all the other factors at play here, Let's see what we got. So that should be poison, right? Yep. Yep. We're at almost 3,000 points, so it can improve the uh, biome, or at least one of the biomes. Uh, travel 500 yards. Okay, so we got some easy ones that I'll get done really fast, and then I'll probably run back home and get a TM made. All right, so our next TM to make is going to be 18, the Thief Dark ability. As you can see, we needed uh, Handauer Fags and Trudel Ink. We have both, so I'll go ahead and get that crafted. One copy of Thief. It would be cool if we had like one of every TM, but there are so many of them. I guess we'll see eventually if that's gonna be the case or not, but for right now, we made the TM we needed. We can back out of there and uh, get another mission done. So take a throw of a wild Pokemon in the Savannah biome. That's really easy to do, because I'm literally at like the, the crux of all four of them. I can just literally go through the store like this, find a Pokemon, snap a pick wherever they pop up. Okay, there's one. Gotcha. <laughs> Look at how easy these can be. And then I can sneak up on you. You're gonna give me a two in one. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, there we go, Trapinch. And if we really wanna be efficient with it, we hop out of this battle and then auto battle you to uh, work on the other vision. There's just so much, oh no. Oh, you're preventing me from running, Never mind. You told me no more uh, productivity. So uh, close combat it is. I'm so sorry to do this to you, but you asked for it. There you go, knocked out your pinch. All right, so I don't have the evolution in Jupiter over here. I've just been getting these missions done. None of them have been all that interesting to you know sort of talk over, so let's see if we can't catch this new Pokemon, because I feel like we're still a while off. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, here we go. We're still a while off from getting the one mission with the 200 Pokemon, which is pretty surprising to me, because I feel like all we've been doing is constantly catching new Pokemon, but we'll get there eventually. Araquid. Araquanid was caught, very cool. So let's see for ourselves what's gonna go on with this one. Number 91 Araquanid, the water bubble Pokemon is a water bug type. It launches sticky water bubbles. Foes who lose consciousness with, while trapped inside these bubbles will get torn apart by Araquanid's gnashing jaws. Terrifying. All right, well, send you to a box just because I don't wanna see that anymore. That's too scary. Boom, right there. All right, very, very cool. I don't see any other new Pokemon in the area, but I will just keep getting these missions done until I think we're good to go get some more snacks. 
Okay, I've accomplished what feels like a dozen more of the quests. So I feel like at this point, we'll make one more TM and then we'll head back to the guy and see what other snacks we can get for these Pokemon. Um, I thought that's just sort of a big thing to focus on for the time being, but over here we have a disarming voice, a fairy type move. We just need Rot's Dust. It seems like we have plenty, so let's go ahead and get that crafted. All right, and boom, we got it. So with that done, let's head all the way over there and see what other snacks we can get. All right, so you're still right over here. Snacks worth here. Now let's see if you've been chipping away at those BBQs or not, Zebra. Heaven is a bet, see you've gone and completed 100 solo quests. I'd say you've earned yourself one of my special snacks, Zebra. Awesome, we obtained a Zekrom treat, whoa. So cool. So there's Zekrom, so there's a Zekrom treat. Yeah, speaking of Zekrom, I'd set out from Mesagoza, thinking I would walk all the way out to Artisan from there. I was making fine progress when this great black shadow streaks across, streaks across the sky to the east. I was consumed with curiosity, that's for sure, so I climbed real high to try to catch a better look. And wouldn't you know it, there was Zekrom. I stared up at it like a country lad seeing his first city, and it came down to land right near me. We watched one another for a time. I couldn't help but bask in how magnificent Zekrom is. It loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot of meeting it too. All right, well, do we have any others or will there be 10 in total? I guess there's more. All right, so 110 solo quest gets us um, another special snack. You obtained the Spectrier Tree. Whoa. Okay, a snack made from Greetings favored by legendary Pokemon Spectrier. I've never even heard of Spectrier. Interesting. So, I was hiking among Paldea's peak for a bit of fun. Mountain climbing being a bit of a hobby, I was taking my sweet time meandering up some mountain paths dotted sparsely with trees. I came upon this old ruin on the path covered in vines and I thought to myself, now doesn't that seem as good as a place as any to take a rest. I'd no sooner drawn close for a look than this black shadow of a Pokemon appeared. Spectreard been sleeping inside. It popped its long face out and scared the spirit out of me. It loves that snack you have there. Okay, cool. So Spectrier, another one of these legendary Pokemon I've just never heard of. So, 120, that's gonna get us something cool, right? It is going to get us Terrakion. The name sounds familiar, but I, I don't have a, a face to the name. All right, so, speaking of Terrakion, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a young feller. It was just a regular day, and I was out doing a bit of my beloved rock climbing as I won't, I, as I want to? I don't know, uh, I'd made it up quite high. When I turned around for a breath, I could just make out the Cortando in the distance off to the south. I was simply standing there admiring that view when the next thing I knew, Terrakion had plonked down from a sit beside me. Perhaps it was simply at loose ends. It sat with me for a time and we ate some sacks together. Interesting. So Terrakion, another one. That was our 12th one so far. Do I have enough for another one? I do 130. We got a lot done. Um, Veriz Verizian? Verizian. Okay. So, speaking of Verizian, I do recall this one particular encounter. Uh, I tell you no lies. I simply came across Verizian resting among the trees one day while I was on one of my adventures around Paldea. And what trees they were, all done up in these mysterious patterns like I've never seen. We stayed up there a good while, me and Verizian, gazing at one another twixt those fanciful trees. But that old Verizian, it didn't run off, just gave me this curious look, you know? So I sat there and told it about my adventures, and it listened with a kindly air the whole time. It loves that snack. Okay, very cool. Verizian sounds nice. Do we have enough for another? Probably not, but let's see. I guess not. So I'll have to keep on earning up some. I might do it between episodes um, just to see. But uh, yeah, I know what group presses are. Don't worry. But uh, in the meantime, I am curious. The one thing I haven't really checked out today is the book that we got from Miss Briar. Um, that'd be in the actual menu I was in before. I don't know if there's anything to do with that. Obviously, like she gave me that book, it has to be something. So where is it? It would be Briar's book. Approved copy of the expiration of notes of area zero. What do I do with it? You seem to hear the director's voice echoing in your head. Master Zebra, this hardly seems like the time or place. 
What do I do with this thing? There's gotta be something. I don't know. Well, it seems like there's still a lot more to do in some ways, we just haven't quite discovered it, but we do have a lot of BP to spend, so I figure we should get that done now. So we'll go to the League Club room, down this way, and we'll see for ourselves. Okay, so how much BP do we have? Contribute BP. 10 BP, what is this, the secret boss of Blueberry Academy, what? The one who summons the greatest number of guest coaches to our fine house of learning B or learning using BP will earn the right to challenge Blueberry Academy's beloved secret boss. What is this? Looks like it's too early for you to contribute to this particular initiative. So maybe that'd be a bigger deal than these? I don't know anymore. I wanna boost the diversity, but I mean, I need the Pokemon. Maybe I should do this one. I'll do one of these and then we'll see how much it costs to call the coaches and maybe we'll start working on the coaches next episode. So, boost the biodiversity in the Savannah biome. We'd like to increase the kinds of Pokemon students can encounter in the Savannah biome, but we need lots of BP to fine tune the environmental settings. Please donate to our cause. I wanna try one of these. We'll have more Pokemon in the Savannah biome, which sounds great. And we're getting a call. Hi, I'm Terry from the Terrarium Club. Thanks so much for your support. Thanks to you, Zebra, we're ready to fine tune the Terrarium's environmental settings. Yes, using the BP you donated to us today, we've been able to upgrade the environments in the Savannah biome. New Pokemon will be able to live there now, including Wild Charmander. Whoa, you can now encounter more species of Pokemon in the Savannah biome. Interesting, so we could get a starter like Charmander. What happens, can I contribute more to like specifically the Savannah biome? No, so I'd have to earn up another 3,000, so maybe that's how we get like more starters. Very, very interesting. There's so much going on in this game, it's great. Can you guys say anything new? Uh, Zebra, welcome back. Thank you. How was the trip you took with Kieran and the others? It was such a headache, <laughs> but it was still a good headache, it was just crazy. Oh, I'm sure it was. Thank you for all of your help you must have provided. You were investigating that huge crater in Paldea region, weren't you? Yes, I was. To think, you came here to study abroad and then you went right back to Paldea. That wasn't very well done, was it? <laughs> it was fine. Oh, you're so understanding. If it were me, I would have been grumbling the whole time. Sometimes the school's a bit too permissive about things. Which is why we all have a duty to say loud and clear when we think something isn't right. <laughs> I guess so. All right, well, seems like there's still a lot more left to do in the game. In the next episode, I wanna be really, really focused on getting more Pokemon, so we'll probably explore the Savannah region a lot more since we have more of a biodiversity there because I'm at 133 caught. I need 200 to be able to get to um, that one quest with the photographer, which is way more than it was in Kitakami, for sure. It did not take us as much work to get there. So we still have a lot more to do in the next episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the hidden treasure of Area Zero, part two, the Indigo Disc. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.